you develop an instant global consciousness, a people orientation, an intense dissatisfaction with the state of the world, and a compulsion to do something about it. From out there on the moon, international politics looks so petty. You want to grab a politician by the scruff of the neck and drag him a quarter million miles out and say, look at that, you son of a bitch. You believe that it's maybe one of the few things that can ultimately unite everyone in the world. It shows us what's out there, it can show us how small we are. I think the universe and a cosmic perspective has the power to achieve that end. What would we look like to aliens? They approach Earth and they see mountains, oceans, land masses, clouds, as nature intends you to see Earth. And then they get closer and they look in classroom windows and they see earth globes in the back of the room that are color-coded. And they say, well, I wonder what that's about. Oh, I know what it's about. We have demarked our landmass, our contiguous landmasses, to know who your enemies are and who your friends are. This would look wholly alien to aliens. <laughs> I, can, I can assure you of that. I'm guessing they would just phone home and say, there's no sign of intelligent life on earth. How long do you think it is until we identify organic life somewhere in the universe. So I think in our lifetime, we'll know whether our solar system has any good life. And if it does, that's just our backyard. That opens the floodgates, likelihoods, that life would be common practically in any star system that we come upon. If I could live forever, I wouldn't. If knowing you're going to die gives meaning to life, then the prospect of living forever means you have a life with no meaning at all. Be ashamed to die until you've won some victory for humanity.